This Kelloland Living segment is sponsored by your local Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Touchstone Energy is a national network of electric cooperatives across 45 states. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives stand out as a trusted source of power and information to their 30 million member owners every day. Today we're talking with two more people who are making a difference in their communities as part of the Touchstone Energy Cooperatives Who Powers You contest. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives within East River Electric Cooperative Service Territory are shining a spotlight on people who are doing good work behind the scenes in their communities. We're welcoming Colette Mesman of Platt, South Dakota. Her nominator says Colette actively attends gatherings to grow connections for the businesses in Platt and to gain knowledge and ideas of how to continue the progress in town, be it housing, growing businesses, or getting Platt on the map more. Colette is representing the Charles Mix Electric Association. Our second finalist is Gretchen Sharp from Aberdeen. Gretchen's nominator says Gretchen is a quiet leader, always watching, looking for ways to grow and grow the organization she's working with. Gretchen is representing Northern Electric Cooperatives. We're going to find out more about how these two finalists are making a difference and why. Let's talk first with Colette. Welcome, Colette. Thank you. So, Colette, you love your community of Platt. You do so much for that community as the Executive Director of Platt uh, De Development Corporation and also the Platt Chamber of Commerce. So, what motivates you? What inspires you to do such big things in that community? Yeah, so Platt's my hometown. I was born and raised here. Um, went to college out of state or out of town and then moved out of state for just a little bit. When it come down to raising our family, we wanted to be back in Platt. So um, I do feel like I am a 100% uh, hometown girl. So, and then my job, you know, with those two nonprofit organizations, it lets me contribute to the quality of life that we deserve in our little hometown here in rural America. Absolutely. You know, I love that I get to work with um, others who feel as passionate and committed to Platt as I do. Absolutely. Uh, you even created something that helped raise $30,000 for the Platt Development Company. It's called 30 Guns in 30 Minutes. Tell me about that. Yeah, so our 30 Guns in 30 Minutes is a fundraiser that we started. We're on our third year this year. Um, we purchased 30 guns from our local arms dealer here in Platt and um, we sell tickets. Uh, we only sell 350 tickets. Um, so it's a pretty good chance of of winning those um, a gun. Those Some people win several guns. But then we just invite everybody for a meal. And, um, you know, there again, it's rural America. We are we are um, unapologetically. Uh, you stand by it. Yeah, that's um, great. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. You also create heydays, um, which is something that happens there in Platt um, with the chamber. And it's even described as um, the, it's like a Hallmark movie. Uh, why is that? It, it is. It's kind of fun. Um, there again, we are in our third year of our heydays event. Um, heydays was created to kind of replace an event that wasn't as successful for our community. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's it's live music all day long and uh, activities and games for the kids and um, mm -hmm. it's it's just a great fall festival and it does give that impression of being a Hallmark movie. It's it's <laughs> we've been blessed with good weather. We always have it after homecoming, um, so we got alumni in town and it's just a great a great event all day long. So. Um, if you're ever looking for something to do the end of September, you just make sure you look up Heydays in Platt, South Dakota and, Sounds good. and come have fun with us. Yeah, so. absolutely. What do you think is the most rewarding aspect of your efforts? Oh, th there's so much. You know, I get to work beside some really great people. Mm -hmm. I've got two great boards. I've got a, an awesome assistant director that, you know, we can throw things off of each other. Um, being local, we kind of know what works in town and what doesn't work. Um, yeah, but I would say it's definitely a team effort um, right. between everybody. You said that you collaborate with business owners and citizens alike. Uh, how else do you engage and inspire others to help out? You know, we, we always volu um, recommend volunteerism. And volunteerism is something that's so hard these days and age because everybody is so busy, whether it's youth or or people who are holding jobs or people who are raising families. But it, what it comes down to is everybody working together in a small community to make the community successful. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Colette, and thank you for being a strong champion for Platt. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll talk with Gretchen. 
Right, Jen, uh, Sharp, you are from Aberdeen. Tell us about your involvement there in Aberdeen. I know that you're involved with the FFA as well as 4-H. Yes, um, I work with the Public Schools Foundation. I also work with the FFA and 4-H and um, just a lot of different areas. I work with the Symphony and the Convention of Visitors Bureau, the museum. Yeah, that's um, right. You're even, you even play an instrument. What do you, what do you play in the, in the symphony? I play French horn. French horn. Okay, great. You're in the community band, in the symphony, in the orchestra, so you get very involved musically. Uh, how long has that been um, an inspiration for you? It's been a lifetime inspiration. I, I'm truly a lifelong learner, and I try to encourage that in others. And, and so a lot of my focus is on education, whether it's K-12 or, or beyond. And so those learning opportunities are, are really key to our community. Sure. I read that you, um, as the director of the Aberdeen Area Schools Foundation, you set up some exciting events. What are those like? We have our Hall of Fame event, which we welcome our alumni back each fall um, and have it in conjunction with homecoming. And we have 10 inductees this year. We're very excited to welcome them back. And we also do a Night for a Princess, which is a father-daughter fundraising event, just to kind of strengthen that bond between dads and daughters. Yeah, yeah, that's great. How, how has your community work, do you think, changed you as a person? Oh, it has made me much better. I, I couldn't do this without the people that are around me, and mm -hmm. they really have, have raised the bar and really helped out. Yeah. I, I, have, I have benefited more than, than my community, and I can't say enough about, about the community that we're in. It's nice to have a lot of people that help support you and get you through these things. What advice would you give to somebody who might be looking to help out in their community? Take a chance. Jump in. Get involved. It doesn't have to be. It can be one thing. It can be three things. But mm -hmm. just take that chance and get involved. Yeah. You also tell me about the, uh, the dairy that you do at Brown County Fair. The Brown County Fair is a great fair. Uh, <laughs> tell me about your involvement with that. We run the dairy booth, our family does, at the Brown County Fair. So the, the American Dairy Association booth, the, the milk booth. Okay. So that's, that's part of our involvement with the fair. We've, my kids have shown dairy cattle um, and other species of livestock at the fair. My husband was involved on the fair board and we both volunteer when we can. So it's been a, a family tradition for many, many years. Oh, and for generations, yes. <laughs> sure. You're also inv involved in your church and your church Bible study. Uh, how does yeah. your faith help motivate you? Uh, very much. Uh, I, that's another thing that is the key cornerstone of, of what I do. Um, we strive to to be more like Christ, and it's just really to glorify Him in everything that we do. And so that's key to my my personality and my work and everything that I do. What would you say is the most rewarding part of the of all that you do in your community? It's the people that I get to work with. Mm -hmm. I get to meet wonderful people with our alumni and our 4-H community and. FFA and it's our church. It's just, it's the people. It's all about the people. Yes. Aberdeen's a great town. It's actually home to the guy who wrote the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> you have lots of fun things you. to do there in Aberdeen. Thank Absolutely. you so much for what you do in Aberdeen and thanks for joining us today. I love that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. If you'd like to know more about East River Cooperative and the region's rural electric cooperatives they serve, you can reach them by phone at 605-256-8004. You can also find out more at your cooppower.com. Nominations are now closed for the Touchstone Energy Who Powers You contest. The program, which honors people through color land, are making a difference in their communities. You can find out more about the contest at the website whopowersyoucontest.com. We'll continue shining the spotlight on each of the finalists each week, so be sure and join us. We'll announce the winner on May 30th. This Color Land Living uh, segment has been sponsored by your local Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Touchstone Energy is a national network of electric cooperatives across 45 states. Touchstone Energy Cooperative stands out as a trusted source of power and information to their 30 million member owners every day.